back with another tutorial and it's beautiful weather outside but I'm a developer so naturally I stay inside of my crib and today I want to show you how you can set up custom navigation for your embedded Shopify apps so stay tuned okay so here you can see an embedded app that I'm currently working on right now. So this is a real world application and I am at the admin panel of my development store. And what I want to show you today is how I can add another navigation link on the left hand side right here. So those are the navigation links of my embedded app. And I'm just going to add another navigation link to show, for example, a list of my collections that I have in my development store. So first of all, let me show you this web.php so you can see the basic setup of my routes. In here, I have this slash which will redirect to the welcome.blade.php file and inside of this welcome uh, blade.php file I have my react application and as another route I have set up this kind of a wild card so it's a path within curly braces which will also redirect to the welcome.blade.php file so that that just means that if I hit any route, I will always be redirected to the welcome page where my React application lives. Now the routing itself from within my React application takes place in this routes.tsx file. In here I am using React Router. So you can see I have set up three routes. One is redirecting to this welcome page, uh, welcome component, just a very basic component right here and the other ones are not relevant for this tutorial right now as I have said this is an actual app that I'm working on so um, let's just say that I want to add a another page where I can show my collections right and I have set up this tutorial directory right here now let me add another component I will call this collections.tsx I will go in here and I have some React snippets so I can just type in RAFC, hit enter and that will set up a uh, component with an arrow function for me. So that's enough for the sake of this tutorial, right? So I will save this component. Now let me go back to my routes file and within VS Code, I can duplicate a line by hitting Option Shift on a Mac and then the arrow up key. Now I have duplicated this line. And let me say I want this route to be called Collections. And now I need to import this component that I have set up right here. Okay, perfect. So now I have set up my routes file within my React application. And now I have to go back to the Shopify admin panel. All right, so I'm back at my admin panel. And if I take a look at my app and if I refresh it, now I can take a look at my left hand side and I can see that nothing has changed. And that is because I also have to set up this navigation within my partners dashboard. So let me open up a new tab. Let me go to partners.shopify.com. And here I can see a list of all of my apps. Now, this is the app that I'm working on right now. And if I go to the de details page of that app, I can see on the left hand side that it says app setup. And within this app setup page, I have to scroll down until I see embedded app. Now, let me click here on manage. And within this app setup, now I can see here that it says navigation. And if I click here on configure, now I can add another navigation link. And I will have this modal right here. Now in here, I will type in the name 
where what it should display and I want to show my collections and I will also have to set up the route so I have set up the route right in my application and it was called collections now I can just add the link save it and just like that I have set up a new navigation link now let me switch the tab back to my app refresh it and as you can see I have now got this new navigation link down here and I can click on collections and it will show this component that I have set up previously right so everything is working and that is how you set up your navigation links in the next video I will show you how you can actually display your collections and in order to do that we will have to make some rest API calls to the Shopify API and that will be part of the next tutorial so stay tuned click the like and subscribe and see you in the next one bye bye